and they run it every time. It's like we have to listen to it several times a show. I'm, I'm sorry, still not over it. <laughs> well, Newsweek is stirring up a firestorm with its latest cover story entitled, quote, Why are Obama's critics so dumb? Now Newsweek's critics claim that the mainstream media is crossing a line trying to get the president reelected. Joining me now, syndicated radio talk show host Leslie Marshall, who's also a Fox News contributor, and editor of the National Review, Rich Lowry, also a Fox News contributor. Leslie's in studio, which is very exciting for me. She's <laughs> not just like, we just see her head on the satellite, but it's exciting to have you here, so I will let you start. Uh, this is Andrew Sullivan they have, who mm -hmm. is you know, a self-described, unabashed supporter of Obama from early 2000, 2007 on. They have him write the cover article for uh, Newsweek, Why Are Obama's Critics So Dumb? Think that might get through to the critics? Well, I, I think what he's done is definitely captured our attention, and uh, Newsweek might, you know, sell some more magazines, which is what it's all about. I mean, how many people didn't know Andrew Sullivan's name yesterday that know it today? I don't like the use of words, but I got to tell you, the president, and even I, for defending the president, have been called worse. So it, what it seems to me from what he's writing is that he's not just angry with the critics on the right, he's definitely angry with the critics on the left. And it's his right to call them dumb, and it's the critics right it's, not to be happy with the president it is his right uh, but is it is it smart is that the way you get through to people by calling them stupid well look I, this is I, I'm a magazine editor so I know how this works Tina Brown put the word dumb on the cover explicitly for this reason so we talk about the article which is really and maybe more than four people would read read Newsweek exactly that would it's, be exciting for her <laughs> but if you read it it's really a standard issue defense of the Obama administration it's what you hear from the White House briefing room basically every day and look Andrew Sullivan is not the best arbiter of who's being reasonable or not this is He's a guy who's not? obsessed for years with the idea that Trig Palin, there's some conspiracy, and Trig Palin is not really Sarah Palin's right, child. So right. being lectured uh, on him, uh, by him on this is a little rich. Is there, it, does Newsweek have some obligation to put, you know, an actual journalist as, as its lead reporter on its cover story as opposed to somebody who's out there saying Sarah Palin didn't get birth to her own child? I, no, I don't think so, quite frankly. But does, do the American people need to know that, that that's who's writing this? The Amer well, the American people have the ability with Google, right? I mean, but don't the you think they, most people, when they go to the store and they see Newsweek there, they assume it's like a real journalist who's going to actually report mm -hmm. the news in, in an objective way? A long time ago, they might have thought I that. actually but, agree I with mean, you there. Newsweek yeah. has been the house organ of the Obama administration from the beginning, and it basically is a weekly opinion magazine that leans to the left for a long time. Self-described, though? Because I'll tell you what, well, I always go by like my mom, my stepdad. I don't think they know that. I think they still think Newsweek is sort I'll, of an editorial. I'll give them a talk to. You. If you want me to talk to them about Newsweek, I'd no, be I'm, happy I'm to. A, I'm going to chat first. <laughs> no, I, 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 do, I think that nowadays people are just more skeptical of everything that everybody writes. Skeptical if there's a slant, whether it's left or right. Uh, thinking less that, you know, it used to be years ago, like my grandma, if it says it in the newspaper, yeah, it's true, right? right? And I know but what about, I mean, this article that he, and I, you point out that he rips on the left because he doesn't mm -hmm. like any of Obama's critics. Mm -hmm. He thinks it's all unfair. If you rip on him from the left, if you rip on him from the right, he says you're wrong, you're stupid, and uh, you just basically get, need to get better informed because he says he's got the empirical facts, and the empirical facts are that Obama has delivered in a way that the unhinged right and purist left have yet to understand or absorb. Now, we have heard some folks say this before. We actually heard Kathleen Sebelius, the Health and Human Services Administrator, tell, tell us we just don't understand. It's you know, the American public doesn't understand what the administration is doing in particular with the health care law, and that's why the poll numbers on it were so low. I don't know. You tell me. Does that not alienate the very group you're most hoping to convince? Well, I, I, I don't disagree there's some alienation with that, but I do think it's not really to me understanding as much as sometimes there are just facts, and, and on the left and the right, nobody likes to admit it. If John McCain were president, would unemployment be 5% today? No. And if you say yes, and I'm going to tell you to put a chief under <laughs> your pillow tonight, <laughs> and somebody's going to bring you some cash, okay? No, I'm not going to call you dumb. Um, you know, the reality is that if the president walked on water, Mitt Romney would say it's low tide right now. We're in an election <laughs> year, so people on the right, in a sense, have a responsibility to him and, and and voters are are going to even on the left rip the president but at the end of the day it's whether they vote what about for the him. central premise of his piece which is that actually Obama he says President Obama is 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 not an ideologue that he's in the middle that he's been a centrist as he promised to be yeah. and that he's accomplished all the goals he said he would he didn't he actually didn't promise to move the heavens and earth he's done what he said he'd do well, there's a deep contradiction in this case, right? Because he says conservatives are wrong to say President Obama is succeeding in moving the country to the left. And then he says, 
his left-wing critics are wrong not to realize he's succeeding in moving the country to the left. And this whole thing about Obama being a moderate drives me crazy because he got the biggest possible stimulus he could, then he got the biggest possible health care bill he could, and then he got the biggest possible financial regulatory bill he could. And those things, they weren't the liberal ideals, but that's because he couldn't possibly pass them. But he, he moved the, the ball as much to the left as he could. And I think uh, both conservatives and liberals should be able to agree this has been the most consequential burst of governmental activism since the great society. And we don't like that. And liberals do like it. And that makes the world go around. Uh, and we'll leave it at that. <laughs> great to have you both here, Rich. Thank Leslie, you very much. All the best.